everyone, I'm Rod Wortham and welcome back to this edition of Race Face Driver Updates. Let's start off out west. Jesse Love competed in six races in six days in the ASCS Speed Weeks against some of the top sprint car drivers in the country. Here's a quick six night recap. On nights one through four, Jesse transferred to the B main but did not make the A main transfer. On nights five and six, he transferred directly into the A-Main and finished 14th and 11th. Jesse finished the week 20th in points out of, get this, 91 cars that took the green flag over the entire week. Up next for Jesse, back to the pavement at Colorado National Speedway for the Arkham Menard Series West Race on August 22nd. Jesse currently holds a one-point lead heading into the seventh race of the series. Joey East was at All-American Speedway for the SRL Southwest Tour in his Nate Clower prepared number 88, where he qualified 14th. Joey ran as high as 8th, but his night was cut short due to some engine overheating. Temperatures at the Speedway were well over 100 degrees, and many cars had overheating issues, as well as some electrical systems actually melting. Now that's some serious heat. Up next for Joey, Nut Up Pro Late Models at Madera Speedway on August 22nd. Bryce Bizanson was at South Sound Speedway for round one of the Northwest Super Late Model Series. Bryce had some issues in qualifying due to another car that did not get off the track and that affected his get up to speed lap and he ended up qualifying P9. Bryce started the race in ninth raced his way up to third, but fell back a couple of spots on a late restart, eventually bringing home a fifth place finish. Sam Butler was at Myrtle Beach Speedway for the final race at this historic track that has been hosting events since 1958. Sam qualified 13th, quickly made his way into ninth before getting caught up in an incident that cut down his right front tire and he had to pull into the pits for a tire change. Now an official at the track parked the 81 due to an oil leak that only he could find. That's strange. Up next for Sam, back to Hickory Motor Speedway on August 22nd for twin 40 lap features. Joe Valento was at Jefferson Speedway for round five of the Midwest Pro Truck Series on Saturday. Joe finished third in his heat race but had to start P16 in the A main. Joe ran most of the race mid-pack till about lap 25 when he started his move towards the front, eventually coming home in sixth place. Up next for Joe, Midwest Pro Trucks at Madison International Speedway on August 28th. Jake Bowman was dominant at Tucson Speedway on Saturday in the INEX Legend Young Lions division. Jake won his heat race, started P2 for the feature, took the lead on lap three, led the next 12 laps for the victory. Jake currently set second in the national points in the asphalt division and first in the road course series. Up next for Jake, junior late models at Madera Speedway on August 22nd. Let's stay with the legend car and head to Florida where we find Gavin Graham, who was at Auburndale Speedway in his number 00 legend car, but he had to switch to a backup car due to some engine power issues. Gavin had to start at the back of the field, made his way to the front, but for the second time in a row at Auburndale, had a brake issue on a late race restart ending in a DNF. Haley Constant starts off her double race weekend with a win in her 600 restricted micro sprint at Deming Speedway. Haley led every lap in her A main to pick up her first win in the restricted class. Can Haley pull off the weekend sweep? Yes, she can. And she returned to victory lane on Saturday in her junior Hornet at Evergreen Speedway. Cassidy Hines picked up her first pro truck win at Colorado International Speedway over the weekend, becoming the first female to win a truck race at CIS. Cassidy qualified second, led the first lap, 
and never look back, leading all 30 laps en route to the victory. Let's take a quick break and hear from the driver. Hi everyone, I raced my pro truck at Colorado National Speedway this weekend and I ended up qualifying P2 and in the heat I finished 5th and in the main I started P2 and finished in 1st so I actually won that race and I just made history as being the first girl to win a pro truck race at Colorado National Speedway and it turns out I am the second girl to win a legend race at Colorado National Speedway and I am the youngest driver to win a legend race at CNS. So that's pretty cool. I would like to thank all of my crew, my dad, Chad, Bo, and Enoch, and my mom for all of their hard work on the truck and everything that they do for me. And I'd like to thank all of my sponsors, SunWest Services, Frontier Restoration, um, LL Acousticals, Race Face Brand Development, and Friends of Jacqueline Foundation. I'll be racing at Madera Speedway this weekend. That's awesome, Cassidy. Up next for Cassidy, Junior Late Models at Madera Speedway on August 22nd. That's it for this week's Race Face Driver Updates. And remember, if you have missed any of our shows, you can get caught up at raceface.tv on demand. Don't forget to follow us on social media. Make sure to check out Speed Zone Race Store for the latest in apparel from all of your favorite Race Face drivers. As always, we encourage you to support local racing in your communities. We'll be back next week with more from your favorite race face drivers. So go out there and have a great race week. I'm Rod Wortham. Thanks for watching.